welcome to devices help and support. Your ultimate destination for all things related to the device's setup, troubleshooting, and optimizing your tech experiences. Are you guys tired of Wi-Fi dead zones in your home? Don't be upset. In this video, I'll guide you through the complete setup of the D-Link DAP-1330 Wi-Fi range extender using WPS or manual method, so you can enjoy smooth internet everywhere. Basically the D-Link DAP-1330 Wi-Fi range extender is a compact device that helps boost your existing Wi-Fi coverage by eliminating dead zones in your home. So let's start the setup process. I hope in the end this video will prove helpful for you. Firstly unbox the D-Link extender box. Inside the D-Link DAP-1330 Wi-Fi range extender box, you'll find the extender unit itself, a quick installation guide for easy setup, and warranty information. The package is simple and includes just what you need to get started right away. We will set up this D-Link extender using two methods. First one is manual method and second one is WPS setup method. Firstly we will discuss the manual method. The manual method is a setup process where you configure a device step-by-step -step using a web browser or app, instead of using automatic features like WPS. Now plug the DAP-1330 into a wall socket. Wait for the power LED to turn solid green. On your phone, tablet, or laptop, go to Wi-Fi settings. Find the Wi-Fi named Linky XT and connect to it. No password is required at this point. Open a web browser, Google Chrome, Safari, Edge. In the address bar, type http colon slash slash dlincap.local or enter the IP address 192.168.0.50. Press enter. The dlink setup wizard page will appear. Some models ask for a username, password, the username is admin and the password is, leave blank, unless changed before. The extender will automatically search for nearby Wi-Fi networks. You will see a list of available Wi-Fi SIDs, network names. From the list, select your main router's Wi-Fi name. Enter your Wi-Fi password, make sure it's typed correctly as it's case sensitive. Set extended Wi-Fi name, SSID, keep the same Wi-Fi name, SSID, as your router, devices switch automatically. Or create a new name, example, home underscore ext or my Wi-Fi underscore extender. Click finish slash apply. The extender will restart, wait one to two minutes, dot on your phone or laptop, Reconnect to the new Wi-Fi, either the same name or the new extended name you created. Enter the password, same as your router's password. After setup is done, unplug the extender and move it to a spot between your router and the area with weak Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi extender is now ready to use. You should see stronger Wi-Fi signals in dead zones. So now we will set up D-Link Wi-Fi Range Extender DAP-1330 using the WPS push button. This is the easiest method to set up the TP-Link Extender within 2 minutes without any username or password. But remember you can do this setup only if your extender and router have WPS button. So let's start the process. First step is same as the manual method. Plug the D-Link DAP-1330 into a wall socket near your Wi-Fi router. Wait until the power LED light on the extender turns solid green, means it's ready. Find the WPS button on your Wi-Fi router, usually has a circular arrow icon, two arrows forming a circle, or labeled WPS. Some routers may have this button on the back or side. Activate WPS on router press and hold the WPS button on your router for about 2 to 3 seconds. 
the WPS LED on the router will start blinking, meaning it's in pairing mode. Within two minutes, press the WPS button on the side of your DAP-1330. The extender's signal LED will start blinking, indicating it's trying to connect. After a few seconds, the extender and router will connect automatically. Check the signal LED color. Green means excellent connection, orange means weak connection, try moving closer to the router, and the red or off means not connected, repeat steps. Once it's connected successfully, unplug the extender and move it to an outlet halfway between your router and the area with weak Wi-Fi. Plug it in, wait for the power LED and signal LED to light up again. Make sure the signal LED is green for the best location. Now all your devices can connect to the Wi-Fi extender network. I hope this video will prove helpful for you. If you're stuck in middle of the process then don't worry, contact our technical expert at 132350737133. They will solve your problem as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel devices help and support and also stay tuned for such these informative videos